Today I'll teach you guys how to do these lightning effects. I've organized them step by step, so don't skip any. Let's swipe right and let's get started. All right guys, so we're here in DaVinci Resolve and this is the clip we are gonna be adding the lightning effect to. And we are on the edit page, we need to move to the fusion page. So step one is right click and go new fusion clip. And then right click again and then go on open in fusion page right there. We have media one in and media one out. Basically, this is what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna use either the polygon node or the B-spline node. For this one, because it's a circle, I'm gonna use the B-spline right there. So we have the B-spline, and this is your playhead right here. I'm gonna move all the way to the beginning of the playhead, and let me just zoom in with my mouse scroll wheel. All right, so you see the circle here? I'm gonna put points on that circle, about six or seven points. And you see the red line? That's where the lightning effect is gonna happen. So let's just move these points out so the red line is properly matching that circle that we wanna follow right there. All right guys, so that was step one and now we're gonna go on to step two which is very tedious. All right, so swipe right and let's get there. All right guys, so step two is basically we need to keyframe um, this circle to the entire clip, right? And there's about 58 frames on this clip and we need to keyframe each and every one of them. So basically what I'm gonna do is select my B-spline down here, click right on my keyboard just to go one frame and then look at it and kind of move this so it matches and then go right again, move this up, move this in, right. So basically frame by frame, you're keyframing that circle to stay on the edge as you see all of these have moved because it's a video and it's moving around so that needs to move up so what i'm going to do is just to speed up the process i'm going to fast forward this um, so you guys don't have to watch all 58 frames it's going to take me about 25 to 30 minutes just to do this so i am fast forwarding right now All right guys, so I'm done keyframing the entire video. As you can see, the red circle is moving exactly where the circle on the image is. And even if I'm scrubbing through, you see that it is staying on that circle. All right, so now we're gonna go on to the next step. So next step is we need to add a merge node into media in one. So basically click media in one and merge node, as you see. And now attach your B spline onto your merge node. And you're gonna notice that your circle that you created has turned completely white. And now go onto your right side. And as you can see, the solid is checked. Uncheck that. And your border width, you gotta increase the size of that. As you see, as I scroll this, it's increasing the size, right? So let's do 0 0.013, just for these purposes. Usually I don't have it that thick. And then you would come down here and as you see your length, that slider, as you bring that down, you'll notice that the length is going down as well of that circle, okay? So let's have it right up to there for the length. So this is how it looks with the white line there. And then now the final thing before we move on to the next step is the position. Position slider moves that white line that we have drawn at the moment around the circle that we created with the B-spline. Right? So we want this thing to continue circling around. So we need to just keyframe it, which is very simple. Go on to the beginning of your playhead all the way. Create a keyframe there on the position slider. And then I'll now move all the way to the end. And let's just do negative six for positioning. And now let's watch this. So see that, look at that guys, look at that circle spinning around and around and around and around. So now the tedious part is done and now we're gonna go into the creative section. Before we get onto this part, you guys need to download this plugin and install it into your Fusion. And that's when you'll be able to add these effects. So go on sturdingsupply.co and type in Proto V2 and you'll find this is a free plugin and it's amazing. Basically, you'll select your B-spline, hold shift spacebar on your keyboard and type in Proto, so P-R-O-T-O, -O, Proto V2 effect, add that in. As soon as you add it in, you'll notice that your white line turned to a glowy kind of vibe. Beautiful. Anyways, um, so now on the right side, you're gonna select uh, under outline and solid, just check that. That way it's not just an outline, it's actually a solid line, okay? 
And now under user is where the interesting thing happens. You can actually select how you want that line to look. So lava, ghost, Wanda, electro, ooh, electro looks nice. Plasma, wisp, patronus. All right guys, so let's go with electro. Okay, because it has the little electric sparks on the side. I like that. All right, so all these sliders that you see on the right side, don't get intimidated by it. They're super easy to use. So basically, this is just to bring the glow up or down on it. All right, so I'll have it right there. I'll reduce the glow size because the glow is a bit too much. And then even the glow blur, I'll reduce that. Noise detail maybe a little bit low. Um, and now, we can actually select the color you want. So that's amazing. Right, so let's see how green looks. Oh, green, no, maybe red. Oh yeah, red looks amazing, guys. And that's about it, guys. Now when you play the video, watch this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something new today. If you did, please leave a comment below. Based on the feedback that I get, I'll be making more tutorial videos that are very detailed, just like this. Thank you again, until next time.